Elsa here with just a few designs and this is the mini that I'm going to make using envelopes okay I have a, uh, a video where I show you how to do a template so you can make your own envelopes just in case you don't have any or can't get a hold of any or just want to make your own so watch it I'll put the link at the bottom so you can reach it and make your template to make your envelopes I am only going to use six envelopes for the mini that I'm making it's going to be for a little girl or you know it's in pinks but the first one that I made is for my grandson and I'm on this flat book kick um, this one says kindergarten boy 2014 and see see how it came together there I don't know if the camera is picking it up but it's a really simple really quick book to make and like I said only took four envelopes and, and but you can make it with as many envelopes as you want the only reason that I did four because this is for his school pictures kids take pictures and they give you like a million of them well I thought it'd be cool to just take a and and this is big enough to use like a um, a wallet size so I did the kindergarten his first second third fourth fifth and sixth grade and by looking at and it's got tags on the sides you can put two little tags right here and that one has a little um I just cut the paper up and that's a little uh, turtle and a snail and that's for her for crystal to either write on there or put some more pictures and then just a big tag right here for her to write you know how how his elementary uh, school years are going and because it's for Brandon and I put Brandon right there Brandon coming down the letters coming down and this is the first grade and I put the number for each school year and a tag big enough for them to um, for for a small picture to fit in there and then right here she can write his uh, the month that it was taken how old he was and maybe the, the school teachers name right there and then I just use little stickers this one says a special kind of love happy moments treasured moments huggable happiness and that's the third grade and the fourth grade um, remember always love and five and six so that's why I only used four envelopes and it's really really sturdy and to look at it you would not be able to tell that it's made out of envelopes if anybody looks at it and says oh you used envelopes I will be very surprised because it doesn't look like that at all and like I said it's really really sturdy really flat really easy to um, you know like the other one really flat to be able to put it put them all side by side um, you know one for uh, elementary middle school and high school wouldn't it be cool and just have one picture to remember school picture so anyway that's what we're making and I'm going like I said I want to use six envelopes okay and first thing to do is with two of your envelopes go ahead and put the flap inside the envelope just like this okay with two of them Now I went ahead and pre-cut everything so you will need to cut the inserts for each envelope and because these are the, the, the invitation envelopes and I told you in that other uh, video on how to make envelopes to use the paper, the flimsy paper because I was going to have you insert a piece of chipboard inside of them just like this okay inside of each one of the envelopes to make the pages really really nice and uh, sturdy so we're gonna put a little bit of just just any paper glue to it here just at the bottom part not the top you leave this with no glue just put glue on half of it and insert it inside each of the envelopes and it's okay if it doesn't go all the way to the top Uh, 
this with the chipboard inside of them and they're nice and sturdy. You can skip this next step or you can go ahead and do it if you want. I am going to color around each one of them with a black Sharpie. Okay, um, just because I really like how everything looks with a black background right now, that's what I'm uh, I'm really enjoying. So that's what I'm going to do with all of these. Okay, so. So after you color them in and you put your little um, chipboard in here, each set, make sure that on one of them you put the flap back behind, back inside of the envelope, like this. Okay, so you're going to have six of these, right, and three will have the flap and three will have the flap inside of them. So you're gonna take, to put your pages together, you're gonna take one of the envelopes and you're gonna insert it behind the chipboard. Okay, like this. Just like that. That's gonna make your your two pages, all right? So you uh, add just a little bit of paper, glue, or any glue that you want, just a little bit on the front right here, so it'll stick to the chipboard just to keep it in place, like that, okay? And that leaves the back opening like this. That's what it's right. gonna look like, okay? And you should have three of these. Now, I colored mine on the outside because I bought these envelopes and they are a tan color and I want the outside black but if you watch the the first the, the video that I posted prior to this I showed you how to make this this template right here and uh, this is an envelope template so if you have black paper and you just want to go ahead and make your envelopes black then you don't you can skip that step or you can make your envelopes any color really here's the green and the blue envelope that were made using that template and you would do the same thing. You would just put your envelopes inside each other. Make sure that one of them is on, on the inside and then put your envelope inside of your envelope and then put your little um, chipboard in there to give your pages a little bit more stability and then you would have pages that are already colored and it's, it's really easy to make your envelopes if you use just paper. I have some paper and I seldom use it, but it's great for envelopes, so you can do that. Also, when you do your template, once it's done, check it out and you know, make sure that everything fo um, folds over neatly. And if it doesn't, take your scissors and cut, cut some edges and just fix it up a little bit, like I did. I have to cut mine right here a little bit shorter than what the, than when I got done using the template itself just to make it fit right the way I wanted it, okay? So there's a tutorial on how to do this. Check it out and then come back and do the book. And anyway, okay, so here we are. We have three of these now, right? Okay, so now you have your three sets, two pages per set, right? And when, like this. And we want to cut a piece of paper that's going to slide in there comfort comfortably, okay? So you're going to start doing an accordion fold. I started over here, but this one's a little bit too wide, so let's do this one. You, When you start folding accordion style, you're going to get this, right? You're going to go low and high and low and high, or they have the valley and hill and valley. You see this? this the high part of it, the hill part of it? You're going to need three of the, these or three of them. So you need one per stack. One of these little things to go inside each one of them. So we need to make one and you need to cut a piece of paper and cut it bigger than what you needed. It's always better to have more th than less. So let's 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 hope you understand what I'm saying. So let's let's go um, and fold this 
about half an inch up, okay? You'll understand once, once we get going. It's kind of hard for me to explain that. So let's just keep going. Six iron. Make it as uniform as you can with this with this step right here. Now you see how I have one already like this right here. You need to fold this two more times so you get two more like this. Okay, so let's keep going. This is probably gonna do it. One more. Right See, I have one, two, and three. So now we can cut this right here. those three with mine I only had with the one I made the little boy one since I only had two sets of envelopes four pages I only needed two of these this one has an extra set so we go with three okay so what you're going to do is grab your first one and it works easier if you start at the top a little bit and slide it down into it, and there you go. That's one. Okay. And, and how we're going to glue this is you can either put a little score tape in there, but I'm just going to run a bit of glue, hot glue, in here. Make sure that you push it down and that it's down in there really, really good. Okay, so that's one. Now you have the other one right here. Get your other set. Let's go ahead and glue one side down already. Works easier. What I'm doing is I'm putting glue on the one side where the, where the chipboard was so it adheres itself to the side of the envelope and then you still have this opening. This opening is where this is going to go. Okay. So now, like I said, it's easier if you grab it and you slide it down and you slide it down into it like this. There you go. So now you have that one. So now push it down really good and run your glue. Squeeze it. I need glue on the inside too, okay? Everywhere there was an opening before, you're going to have to glue down. Right, now this is the last one right here and you have this you have the, the chipboard inside here right put glue on one side so it'll adhere to to the envelope itself like this and let's stick this in here you better work from the top to the bottom and just slide it in there in there nice and tight like that so now right here is where you're going to put some glue okay so that's where it went in right so this is still not attached so you got to put glue right there to attach it and on the inside 
of this of, of the of the pack right here right this is the one just attached and you just glue it right there pull the whole thing and then you're going to need to attach this part also Your little book and it's bound and you have some really nice sturdy pages you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten pages back and front right now this part right here you're just going to glue it down to the book itself Okay. And I'm going to use score tape for that. Okay, so here you go. There it is, and it's nice and sturdy, and everything's done in black, and once you start decorating, it's gonna look so cool. I'm going to do the cover for it just the same way I did in my other video. And see how cute that looks? And that's how that's gonna look. You're just gonna leave it like that. And it also gonna, it's gonna give you a little room to grow. So if you add stuff to your book, this will be able to grow with you a little bit it'll give you a little bit more bulkiness so you can add things to it or you can keep it nice and flat the way that i want this one to stay but even so this one has room to grow just in case crystal wants to add different things to to the little book it's really simple it's a little boy's book so uh so now for the front and back covers we're going to do the same exact thing that i did with the Halloween book and the other book so hold on so I have some really pretty and sturdy chipboard here that I'm gonna use for this mini and I am going to do the same I'm in the same size as the envelope um, lengthwise but widthwise I'm gonna be a little bit bigger okay so according to the measurements of your envelope For instance, my envelope is five and three fourths by about four and a half. So I'm going to cut this the same length of my envelope. So five and three fourths. So I'm going to cut it about four and three fourths. So this is my cover right there. So four and three fourths. These are my two covers right here. One there and one here. And you're gonna push this book all the way to the end like this. And that's gonna be your covers. 
Okay. And I want to go ahead and have a pocket in there like I did last time. So I am only going to adhere the sides of the envelope to the cover. Let's do that. Because my cover has a really pretty tint green to it, I'm not going to cover this part. You see, when, when I adhere this to here, right here, and you turn it, you're going to be able to see that right there. But that's a really pretty green, and I like it, so I'm just going to leave it. Because the papers that I'm covering it with have a lot of mints and greens and pinks to it, so I'm just going to leave it. But if you're, if you're using, like, say, chipboard like this, I would cover half of this right here before you glue it right here because it's going to show okay and like I said cut your your book cover a li the same unless you want to cover the whole back of it when you put it down because whatever you put down like let's say you cut this a little bit bigger than your envelope see how it's going to show on this side so anything that's going to show, you're going to want to cover with paper. So if you cut it like this to where you have like uh, a quarter of an inch all the way around the book you, and, and you used regular chipboard like this, you're going to want to cover this so when you put it on your book, you don't see just the chipboard. Unless you like that look and you're going for that rustic look, then that's cool. But if not, you want to cover this up so that it'll look pretty. Like I said, mine has a really pretty green tint to it, so I'm not worried about it. And the only thing that's going to show on mine is like a quarter, uh, yeah, about a quarter of an inch on the top, like that. So I, I don't mind that too bad. That's good. Now I do want to cover the front and the back with, uh, with pretty color paper. So I am using this stack, Spring First. I've been hoarding it and not wanting to cut it at all because oh my god I think it is so beautiful but you know I have to cut it I have to use it it's insane to buy paper and, and just keep it just let it sit there I think I have like two or three stacks of this that is what is really insane so so I used so these are the papers that I'm using for the mats and to cover the, the book. I really like the little birds. I think they're so pretty. So I think I'm going to cover the book with this pink and then maybe put that over it. So let's, let's do that. And I'm probably going to use this for the back. I went ahead and pre-cut all my mats and I'll show you what they look like in just a little bit. But for now, I'm going to cover my two, my front and my back covers, okay? And I will, oops, and I'm gonna be using Elmer's rubber cement. I really like it. It uh, rubs right off of paper where you don't want it. You just let it dry as long as you don't make contact with any other paper and you can just scrub it off or rub it off. It works really, really good.
everywhere where I thought I would need it and you have your backing there you go your little mini is done and you have all your pages and now on some of them it'll show green right there which I think it's fine because your binding is green but it only shows in that one part in the middle there so what I'm gonna do and what I did with that other book everything that showed color on the inside I went ahead and colored with a sharpie and got rid of any trace of color in here just like that Oh look, this one was green too. I just want it all black. Now, any little flaps like this from the envelope, you want to go ahead and make sure that those are down good. So I'm just going to put a drop of glue. Really, really sturdy little book. And once you decorate it, it won't look like you used envelopes. And see how nice that is it feels good in your hands <laughs> okay so to decorate it I used the same paper collection and I went ahead and did all my my pre-cutting with with my die cuts okay and I did each page and I kind of put it on there how, how I think I would like it and um, I use spellbinding, uh, spellbinders, die cuts, and some Martha Stewart paper punches that I'm just going to add here and there. And then these little things right here came from the paper collection also. So I just cut them out. And I'm just going to stick them here and there just to give it a little bit more. Okay, so I am going to put all these together first before I adhere them to the book okay so um and I, I want to be rounding all I'm going to be rounding all the mats with the rounder with the paper rounder this, this thing. okay so let's put everything together and then we'll put it in the book okay So I have all my pre mat my mats done and I put all my die cuts on them. Then I'm gonna attach them to each other page and then I'm gonna come back and put little flowers and other little pretties to make it a little bit more I don't know, pretty. <laughs> so 
So these are the pages. And there's 10 of them. So now let's attach them to the book. So there it is, and I think I'm gonna do it more like a flip book. And the pages are oh, so nice and sturdy, and uh, it's a really well made book. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart, it's not made out of flimsy paper, it's really nice and sturdy, and it feels really good on your hands. And um, so I'm going to keep decorating it and embellishing the front and see what I come up with. Still embellishing it, and of course, I haven't played with flowers and oh my God, so long that um, my placement was a little off. But I've been putting flowers on them. And uh, I'm gonna go look for some bling and add bling and finish it off. So I'll be back in a little bit. So going through my stuff, I found this little thing that I had made um, a while back and the colors seem to coincide with this really well so I think that's all I'm gonna do for the front is I'm gonna add this I'm thinking of adding some of that little bird back into it because I really like how it looks to you know to tie it all together cut it off right there and maybe put some more flowers on the side right here but I really like that and I made this on one of those days when uh, I didn't have much time to do anything I thought I'm just gonna play it was leftovers that I had and I really like how it looks so I'm gonna use that to just adhere it to the front of the book and I think that that will finish <laughs> I went ahead and used that little thing that I had made previously and I just added some more flowers. These are I am roses, little rosettes, some recollections playing all over the place. And uh, and I left the top open so you can slide a little picture or something in there. And then I did the whole flower thing. And these are some epoxy stickers. I think they look so pretty. That's a butterfly and it's really sparkly. It looks so much better in person. And this sticking out right here is the tag. And I put epoxy stickers on both sides. And that fits in there like that. And then two pictures and everything lifts up so you can slide a picture in here and you can slide a picture underneath that right there. And I left the tops open so that you could put a picture in, inside and then to use this as a border and then you can just go ahead and glue it down once you're done with that. And all this is lifted also. And that's a little crocheted flower also from um, I Am Roses. And some more bling. And this is that awesome uh, Spellbinders die that uh, I bought when I first started crafting. Kind of seems like a lifetime ago. I have used that, let me tell you. I really like it. Some uh, light baby pink recollection bling and then just some uh, scraps that I had and I used the Martha Stewart punch at the, at the ends and just stuck them in there. And again, same thing. This is also a big old daisy uh, petals from um, I Am Roses with a little rosette on the inside. And it's the same paper throughout from the same stack that I showed you earlier. And right here, this is just a little piece of paper that I had left over and I wrapped it around the mat. 
three flowers, some bling. Butterflies, of course, right? <laughs> it wouldn't be my project if I didn't have butterflies. And uh, everything's lifted. Once again, so you put things underneath it, some more flowers, which is some little, this is this little yellow bling is from the dollar bin at uh, Michael's. At least it used to be a dollar, now I think it's two dollars. And that's, oh, well, I have one more page. I have to say that's it. More bling. These little polka dotted flowers are from Michael's. These little daisy petals. Same thing here. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> another epoxy um, sticker of a butterfly. Another paper butterfly. This butterfly is from I Am Roses. And the tag right there. So that is it. This book is really sturdy and even when all that stuff that I put in there, it's still a pretty flat book. It's not really thick. And if had I not put all those flowers, it would have been really, really flat. But like I said, I haven't worked with flowers in so long that I wanted to use flowers. Damn it. <laughs> so okay, so here we go. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make some of these. I hope I inspired you. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.